Hey guys, I'm Gabby and this is Gabby's Gallery. As always, if you're new here, welcome. And if you see my other videos, welcome back. So today, I'm finally doing episode 2 of Life with Braces. And I know how much you guys loved episode 1. Got so many views, so many comments, so much love from you guys that I decided to do another one. Obviously, I was planning on doing other ones, but I was just waiting for the right time. And, um... If you notice, I'm talking a little bit different. It's probably not that much of a difference, but um, yesterday I got my braces tightened. So I was like, you know, why not do a video on what to eat when your mouth hurts? Because my mouth hurts a lot. Um, so just a little quick story on some stuff that's been happening with getting my braces tight in the last couple of hours. Um, yesterday I went in, got them tightened, and they weren't hurting for a while, so I ate normally right afterwards, so, because I knew that they would start hurting later, so it's best to eat normal food right after you get them tightened if they're not hurting that much. Um, took my ibuprofen before I went into the office, and then last night before bed I waited the, like, m gap of time before you can take ibuprofen again, obviously, because we want to stay safe and healthy. And so I took ibuprofen before bed, and um, I took it around 10 o'clock at night, and ibuprofen, you have to wait six hours before you can take it again, because it wears off about, um, after about six hours, and so, guess who woke up at four in the morning? Me! Because, if you can do math, 10 o'clock to four o'clock in the morning is six hours, so I woke up at four o'clock in the morning because my teeth were hurting. No, actually I woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning because I had a weird dream that me and Mackenzie got caught shoplifting, even though we weren't intentionally trying to shoplift. It was a really weird dream, but I woke up and then I couldn't go back to sleep because my mouth was hurting so bad. So I finally got to sleep at 6 a.m. And then I woke up and I my mouth was just hurting so bad. So I took ibuprofen and laid in bed till like noon. And so then I wanted something to eat, and I was like, uh, we don't really have much, like, that you can eat right now. And I was like, can we go to the store? And she was like, yeah. And so we went to the store, and I was like, this is the perfect time, because I've been waiting to buy all the stuff to make this video, and since my teeth are already hurting, what better... <laughs> what... So, yeah, let's get right into it. Two, three! Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show you that I eat when my mouth hurts is yogurt. And I prefer the smooth yogurt without any chunks of fruit in it, but that's just me. Honestly, you could eat it whether your teeth hurt or not. I just don't like the chunks of fruit in the yogurt whether or not my teeth hurt. So, one of, I have two favorite types, but one of them they were out of stock at, at the store. So we got like five of these, and it is Starburst Cherry. And this is, just depends on the person. I personally love this, but some of my friends think it tastes really gross. Not really sure how they think that, but... This is awesome. It's smooth, no chunks, perfect for eating with braces because you can literally swallow it, no chewing required. Um, so I'm probably going to eat this after I'm done with the video because I'm really hungry. Um, so yeah, they're like really cheap too. We bought like six of them. And so yeah, those are my favorite types of yogurt, but obviously all yogurts are perfect. You need go-gurts, um, Danimals, all that is awesome. So first thing is yogurt. The second thing that I really like to eat is Bob Evans mashed potatoes. And obviously all mashed potatoes are fine, but for me, I only like Bob Evans. I'm kind of a mashed potato snob, guys. I will only eat Bob Evans. So, Harris Teeter sells these, if I can get it oh, out of here, they sell these containers with two single cups of mashed potatoes. And these are like a lifesaver for me because literally you just heat it up in the microwave, you can take it anywhere, um, heat it up in the microwave and you eat it and it's literally as easy as that. I had, um, last time I got my braces tightened, I had to go to a youth group night for my church and our church has a microwave in the kitchen so we just brought one of these and popped it in and I was able to eat it. So yeah, Bob Evans mashed potato singles, 
are the bomb. And um, so yeah, if you like mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes are great for braces. And then the third thing is Bob Evans again, because I love Bob Evans, but they're mac and cheese. And I feel like a lot of mac and cheeses are going to be good, but I really love the Bob Evans because it's really, really soft and really creamy and also tastes amazing. And they also sell it in the singles, so you can take this anywhere, and it's just a lifesaver for me. Um, yeah, it's so easy, and like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not real, I don't really know how much they cost, but I can assume they're pretty cheap. Um, you can find them a lot of places. I find mine at Harris Teeter. Um, yeah, so good. So easy to eat when your teeth hurt. So, yeah, the, was that three? The third thing is mac and cheese. Let's see, the fourth thing is applesauce. Applesauce, obviously, is super soft. And you can buy it in big jugs, you can buy it in little cups, and you can buy it in squeeze pouches. This is just what we happen to have in my house right now. Um, but yeah, it's, these are so easy for on the go. If you're in the car and you need a snack, these are perfect because you literally just squeeze it in your mouth and you can just swallow it. So yeah, applesauce is amazing for when your teeth hurt. The fifth thing that's awesome to eat when your teeth hurt is pudding. Yes, I know sometimes it's really hard to eat, like, find, like, sweet desserts types food to eat when your teeth hurt because you can't really like eat gummies, chocolate or anything because it's just you have to chew a lot and that's just really painful. So pudding is the bomb. We buy snack pack, like the big packages of them and I eat these all the time in the car, at home, wherever. Um, I have these all over. Um, but yeah, pudding is awesome. And the sixth thing I believe that is really good is Jello. Jello is awesome. I'm not really sure. This is Lunch Buddies, the brand. Um, but you can also buy snack pack. Really, you can make your own Jello. Whatever you want to do. But Jello is awesome because it doesn't really require much chewing. Like you can like kind of just press it against the roof of your mouth and swallow it. But it's really awesome. Tastes really good. And yeah, that's number six. <laughs> Um, numbers 7 and 8 I don't have to show because you have to like make them, they're not like store bought, but um, number 7 is chicken noodle casserole and it's something my mom makes, um, but I can definitely link the recipe or like put it in the description, I'm not sure if it's a link, but I'll definitely put the recipe for it in the description. But it is so amazing for when my teeth hurt. Like, it's already one of my favorite meals, but it, it also is this huge plus that it's super soft. Because it's literally just, like, chicken noodles and, like, broth and some breadcrumbs. So when my teeth hurt, my mom whips up a big old pan of it, and I can eat it for breakfast, lunch, dinner for, like, a couple days. And it works out so perfectly, so I definitely recommend that. And number eight is barbecue pulled pork. And you might not think of this as something, and I didn't either until I had another youth group night, this time at someone's house, and I was like, hey, like I called my friend whose house it was at, I was like, hey, um, do you know what we're having for dinner because I just got my braces tightened and I don't want it to be something that I can't eat, so should I bring my own food? And, oh, come in. Hi, I'm filming. Come on in. Oh, hello. Do you guys want to be in my vlog? Sure. Well, it's not a vlog. It's my episode two of Life with Braces. I'm telling them oh. everything that they can, like, good to eat when their teeth hurt. Come on in. This is Morgan, who you guys already know. And then who you guys okay. might not know is her little sister, Madeline. <laughs> so Hi. they came over to get the skateboard. And I was just <laughs> like, sure, you can come over. So, yeah. We're um, going to Oh, nice. So, I will, I'm going to hang out with them for a couple minutes, and then I'll get back to the video. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I have some Bob Evans mac and cheese, but I have to let it stand for a couple minutes to cool. Um, anyways, before I get uh, on to where I was talking about, um, I forgot to add this in at the beginning, but I want to stress the importance of eating good even though it's really hard because if you don't eat good at least decent then you're gonna start losing weight and if you're like me you might start getting really dizzy because that's been happening a lot lately if I'm not eating good enough not getting my daily nutrients in I start getting really dizzy and that's not a good thing 
So you want to make sure to try to eat um, like protein, like milk. Um, try to drink milk at least once every day when your mouth hurts because it's really important to get that protein in and it's hard when your mouth hurts because you can't like chew like meat or anything else that could give you that protein. So in order to like lose less weight, get less dizzy, stay healthy, make sure to eat some of these foods like mac and cheese even though it's really tempting to just want to eat yogurt and pudding all day. You're going to want to make sure to get some like solid food or at least semi-solid food in so that you are staying healthy. Um, so yeah, back to what I was saying earlier. I called my friend. I was like, hey, do I need to bring my own food? Like, what are we having? She said, we're having barbecue and I eat this all the time when my braces are. I was like, okay, kind of confused. But then I got there and I had the pulled pork and it was so soft. I had it in a sandwich, so the bun was really soft, the pulled pork was really soft, and it was so good for my mouth. Mmm. Hot, but very good. Um, some other things that are really good to eat, drink smoothies, Starbucks drinks, frappuccinos, um, hot chocolate, coffee, um... Anything smooth, liquids that you want to eat or drink um, is awesome for when your break, when your teeth hurt. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it for this video. Make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And I post every Monday and Thursday. As always, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.